Now, if there are an award for Britain's most apologetic couple, then it should be on its way to Phil Sayer and Eleanor Hamilton. Now, they're the husband and wife team behind the automated announcements for cancelled trains and delayed services due to adverse weather conditions. Now, Phil says, um, I probably apologise more than anyone in the UK, apart, of course, from his wife. So, is the word sorry, um, as seeing as it's really far from his lips, uh, is it really far from our, ours at home? Who says sorry in our relationships? Oh, don't. Are we good apologisers? Don't get me going on this because I need a day to get this off my chest. <laughs> I say sorry for everything. I say sorry when I'm not flat on my back in the street by someone. I jump up and go, sorry. <laughs> I annoy myself. But Ray, I don't think it's in his vocabulary. I don't think he knows the meaning of it. I don't think he knows how to pronounce it. And, you know, I would probably die of a heart attack if he ever said it. So he's never apologised to you? Very, very rarely. Even when I have stood there and proved her, and it gets to the point where I get hysterical with him because I go, like, he'll accuse the kid, you know, he'll go to Jake, where have you put my headphones? And Jake will go, I haven't touched your headphones. And this will go on for three days. And then we'll find the headphones in Ray's office where he left them. And I'll go, so you need to apologise to Jake now because you accused him. And you went, yeah, but he might have taken them. And I go, no, yeah, no, yeah, but he didn't. And he'll go, no, but he might have. I mean, three years ago he did. And I go, yeah, but that was three years ago. He didn't take them this time. I apologise. He'll go, no, because it's something that he probably could do. Oh, you know when you end up, and I think I'm going to punch your face. Why don't, why don't you just punch him, though? <laughs> I get frustrated oh, with Colin. It gets Colleen. to the point where we both get hysterical about it, because, and then I'll go, go on, just say it, and he'll go, Zzzz. you know, one of them. Yeah. I just can't bring myself to say it. But, no, he, he very, 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 very rarely, he finds mm. it really difficult to say. So, I mean, if he really upset somebody and he thought I was really out of order there, he would go up and say, look, I apologise for but saying that. But not to that. you. Mm -hmm. But if it's about me and him now, he'd rather, he'd rather slit his wrist than say <laughs> sorry to me. Are you I good with apologies? Well, I suppose I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not as bad, I'm not as bad as Ray. It's just that I don't think I'm ever wrong. Well, that's what Ray <laughs> says. He's never wrong. But I'm, I'm not, I'm exactly the same as Cole. As regards the, um, the, I suppose it's a form of people pleasing, isn't mm. it? It's sort of saying sorry all the time. I mean, even if I've had the worst cab driver in the universe, sorry, I can't give you a hundred million pound tip. I'm really sorry, I just haven't got enough money. Or if the room service person comes and all they do is bring me an orange juice and I haven't got any money, I'm going, I'm so sorry, I'll hunt you out tomorrow and I'll adopt all your children and you can come and live in my house and everything. <laughs> it's just so pathetic. But as regards Tim and I, um, I'm not very good at it. And if we've had sort of a row so much as conflict, which usually is, is the result of having a few um, bevies too many, even if I know that I was in the wrong, I'll still wake up in the morning and in the hope that he'll forget, I just go, don't even talk to me because I can't believe you. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, darling. Oh. I go, well, thank you very much. <laughs> you are nice. Denise! I've just said it now on live blooming television. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, You've not. ruined it. Oh, I've got to know. I've ruined it. Even when you know you're I, wrong. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Not I do yeah. apologise to the children and I, mm. and I apologise to Louis and tell him how what, important for being it parent. is. For being their parent. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but no, I do. If I feel I've been unfair or unjust or, or you know, shouted too much or whatever, then I will, I will apologise and, and the kids are very good at apologising. I think it is an overused word. I think people can tend to overuse it mm. a lot. So if I do bump into someone in the street, I say, oh, excuse me. Or I, d I don't say I'm sorry because it was a, it was a mistake. It's, I'm not sorry for, for doing something no. that I didn't do. It's not a word well, I use right. an awful lot or I'll go, really? oops. You know, I just don't say the sorry word. Poor Ed. My other half. I mean, he just apologises before he gets to the door because he knows he's going to. He <laughs> knows he's going to do know? something wrong, yeah. and he'll come and he'll say, "I'm sorry for whatever I'm going to do later." <laughs> so he's. What is that? Because you give him a hard time. No, it's just a look. It's just a look I can give him, and I can stop him dead mm. with that, you know. Oh, but, you're um, good. Yeah. Well, you, you know. My mother had one of those looks. Yeah. It's yeah. It. That's it. You see. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. And you? Are you? Good? Yeah. Oh, look, that's that's yeah. a good look. You can I'm working on it now for Ben. It's yeah. Going disastrously wrong. Are you good at wrong. saying sorry? Then? I think I am. I do. I say sorry all day, every day. I'm, yeah. I'm a bit British like that, like you are. You know when something like your house is blowing up and, and you're on a helpline you've been holding for seven hours and you finally get through to somebody and it's, they're completely at fault and it's a terrible service that they're providing. I always open the conversation with, I'm so sorry to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> and you think, no, I'm not sorry. I'm outraged and angry and fierce. Yeah. But I think, I, I think people say sorry a lot. Without, an, an apology mm. means a lot when it's mm. sincere, when it's meant. So when you've I had agree. to extract it out of somebody. Mm. 
yeah. then that's not that's you know yeah. save it i'm not interested a sincere apology you see mm. is worth a lot more than exactly. overuse it's a bit like i love you only say it when you mean it <laughs> and talking about